we're seeing in Edwards a bit a different kind of striker. I think with and again, I mean he's coming off of two very impressive performances in a row. Kamaro Usman, born in Nigeria, I'm Rocky. Leon Edwards, 24 years old, born in Jamaica. Six Usman. For the official introductions, here's Bruce Buff. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, fighting out of Birmingham, England, by way of Kingston, Jamaica. Fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record. Boca Raton, Florida, by way of Ochi, Nigeria. Come. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Chrissy, Vanessa, Luciana, Ariane, right, and Brittany. Southpaw, Rocky, Leon, Edwards. Quenched by Usman. Let's see what kind of takedown defense Edwards has here. Count the two victories he had in the house. Good so job, he's very circle. good right now, Joe. Side, very nice work. Leon Edwards finished this at AKA, and that worked out pretty well for him. Usman gets that of Usman now. He can really start to gas out Usman, I'm telling you. And then you could start seeing Edwards get the rhythm he needs in the striking. Also for Edwards, so he's going to have more relaxation there. Whereas Usman, if he gets to take, if you're Usman. And guys, Leon Edwards is happy to represent a locker room wish to luck. He would be cornering him right now if he weren't it right now. Luke Rockhold with the new championship belt that he got from a huge team of other guys coming up. And, it, and you know, it did change Edwards down there and all the other men learned from Daniel Cormier. I'm very impressed. Again, with the clinch, let's see if he can get it. He gets it this time. You need a test to completely reset everything. He, he doesn't have that same feel, that same. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, Dominic Cruz is with us. He's got the left leg over the shoulder, and he's trying to move his left leg behind his right. Just it. Usman recognizes that, and he's putting a lot of pressure on that left. Edwards, when he went to the ground, I wasn't seeing a guy that was holding on. I was seeing a guy that was looking for... That opportunity came for Edwards because it was... And Edwards just landed a, a short elbow from the back here. Usman's going to have a hard time defending against these elbows. There's another... Confidence in his wrestling, too, Dominic. He said that Edwards has never... His feet nicely done by Edwards. So put Usman a little back. He's not just gonna hold on and wait for the referee to stand it back up. He went for a submission. That created the opportunity to stand up. So talk to the end of that round. That was extremely, extremely high pain. Get the fight to the ground again in the second round. He can chop the amount of time that he's standing. Uh, corner to, to get the win, possibly. Interesting that Usman's not sitting ever. It's a great uh, point. I mean, never. Yeah. So, why would you change that in the fight? Is the question. Some good loose striking for him, but this is a, really a pivotal moment in the fight. Us All right, round two, you ready? You ready, sir? Let's go. Fight round two. Southpaw in the black trunks. Good left straight. Watch the. Look and put him on his back here. Got it. And he gets it very nice. Yeah, that was probably the biggest shot of the fight so far. Early here in round two. Our final preliminary. Little wall walk. Got it in the replay, and it, it looked more like a wrist. It didn't look like if you pick a favorite striking technique, he said it's his elbows. Okay, we'll take a look at it in the replay in between rounds. But it's one that we have missed. Get that arm in play, and he does. Spins around, gets that left arm through. He's that underhook. He's controlling the underhook and jacking it up. You see how high up on the air that underhook is not what Edwards wants to do. Control and counting. Midway point of our fight. Take place. Especially as Edwards gets tired, it's going to be hard because he landed some big shots. Exactly, exactly right. Go. The takedowns here, unless you, you need a quick rest, and I think he's getting a breather. Wrestle all day long and not get as tired, especially for three rounds. That really, which he can really accumulate some of those. He might be able to slow, landed a couple, and then yeah. backed off. All right, big this dance. Is what Edward, left by Edwards, Usman. Good straight left yeah, by Edwards. He caught him with a body kick and then followed up with the hand. But aggressively now, and Edwards is trying to time him. Like that. And answered Ooh, by Edwards. Left. Oh, you know low. what? Most of the impact hit your stomach, the foot hit you in the groin. So huh. you know you right. Dan Mergliata is <laughs> mistaken. Ready? Huh? That's a mistake by all. But you know what? In the middle of the match, the heat of the axe. Trying to work again in close range with the wing. Both men trip, so far with good, good hard body shots. Nicely.
Leon Edwards is not not quitting though. He's still in this fight very much. This third not giving up. He knew the round was almost over, but he's still trying to get up. That says a lot about the will. Lips him with this left hand. And it put Edwards in some right to the cup. And uh, Big Dan would come anywhere near the groin. Strike straight away, okay. Well, in the striking, I definitely say so, but Usman's been pushing the takedowns in that. I mean, this third round's up for grabs. Grappling aspect a lot of the time. The less time that Usman is forced to strike. Just over six minutes against Haider Hassan to win season. Fighting out of Boca Raton with the Black Zillions. Around, he's got to get a knockout, I think, if he's going to win. So he's got to stuff some of these. Yeah, most likely he needs either a submission or a knockout here in this third round and giving him a break. And Usman's pace has been great standing also. He's, he's not hanging with some of the best strikers in the, in the division, too. I mean, Leon Edwards is no slouch. Usman, 2010, Division II National. Gained a little international acclaim and really worked. It's just about two and a half minutes remaining. The pressure and the grappling of Us the grind. It's such a heavy pace. A lot of the fans weigh any guillotine threat. And he can't hold on to them. Get rid of any of those, those front headlocks. Get side control on them. They leave themselves open for it. Last time we saw it, third round. This is all Usman. I mean, this is old school wrestling here. Greg Jones does a great job with the wrestling. He's looking for another win here today in Orlando. But we just, you know, it a, costs a lot of money to keep a guy like Neil Melanson around, to be honest. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge when it comes to just all sorts of different styles. It's, it's very much a, a wrestling approach, and that's what you're seeing Usman. You, and he's landing huge shots here on Leon Edwards. And he's trying to get the finish here, guys. Big third round for Usman. Well, we're seeing quite a lot of success that he's been having, tapping out Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts. And no that and say he didn't want the finish. Well, that's not true. You're also controlling the position. You controlled the position instead of throwing the hooks in and going for the submission, and it caters. Well, didn't he? Yeah, and here's the takedown again. As, and as Dominic said, as the round. Well, a great submission attempt. The difference in that, he was a few inches from Dane. And how many times will you let guys throw that triangle on? Maybe that's part of, partially what happened after that first round, too, because you didn't see Leon Edwards move. Judges rendering their over two rounds of time with control. <laughs> Usman went out there and just did his job. That's the night. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. 30-27 and 29-28 for the winner by unanimous... Congratulations on an excellent performance because you showed very good to one who landed the hardest shot so far on the feet. Yeah, if not the best in the world, Henry Hooft. And uh, unfortunately, I can't strike. Well, you're wrong. I can strike very well. To get your takedowns together, and he seemed to be wilting under the pressure. And the pressure that I'm going to put on guys, no one can deal with it because they know that I could take him not in the first round, in the second, or in the third. Well, congratulations on your victory. Realization of his wrestling. He promises more striking next time.